And in that 86, um, 86 World Cup, I think that there's a game that we play. I was, I was played in the hand of God game where he's where Maradona scored the best probably World Cup goal you'll ever see in did you play in that? your life. I did. Yeah. Were you on the pitch? Yeah, you? I should have kicked him as he <laughs> went by. But a handball one. I saw it the other day. And uh, why I didn't kick him, I don't know. But uh, no, so I think that's one of the biggest games in the world ever. You know, if you were sort of 10 years of old age at the time, you would know where you were when the hand of God goal went in and the game that how it panned out was an incredible game. And could you imagine in this day and age something like that happening, the handball, you know, Twitter and uh, the, the, the social media would have had an absolute meltdown instantly. Yeah. From 94 to 98, four years, the, the, the difference in, obviously I was a bit older as well, so I was kind of thinking, 32, do I really need to be playing for England right now? I was a little bit nervous about the prospect, but the actual press coverage and there wasn't social media then as such but the press coverage and the pressure on me that I put myself under but from the outside influences <coughs> of that was tenfold from what it was four years ago just in that small space of time and I actually the game when it came round I was a abs I've never been so nervous playing a football match and it was just because of that media hype that, it would, that was that much bigger back then mm. I had an absolute stinker as well <laughs> You know, in any tournament, whether it's World Cup or Euros, there are going to be isolated things that happen that are going to be inspirational, they're going to be sad, they're going to be unlucky. Hopefully the unlucky one ain't going to be us again, because it always seems to be us in the tournament. But you know there's these crescendos of magic moments that are going to happen, and I think that's what gets through to people inside themselves, and it evokes emotions through yourself to come out and, I don't know, tweet things or make it even bigger than it is. You, we know, we, I guarantee you, there's, there's certain things that we haven't seen in a football game. And I think that's the beauty of football. No disrespect to other sports. If you, if you have a 147 in snooker, in, you know, on a colour television, back in the day, that was the limit that that sport was ever going to go to. It was, you know, it's repetition. Darts is pretty much the same. All good sports, whatever, but football, you, your permutations are different. You're going to have inspirational moments, and as I say, down moments as well, and then go back up again. So I don't think there's any sport like it, and I think when you get to a massive tournament like the Euros, for me and, and the World Cup, it's, there's nothing bigger in the world, brand-wise, television-wise, and for sport.